My dad did help in laying a foundation in me. I will never forget how my dad will read me Leviticus 18 and 22 and Leviticus 20 and 13, King James Version. We prayed every morning. I remember him praying over me while brushing my hair. This was when I was a young boy. He recently told me that he didn't remember doing that, but I remember and I will never forget it. We didn't know at that time Christ was working through him to sow that seed into my spirit. I know it was Christ because my dad doesn't remember what he did, but look at me today. I am free. I would say the seed has blossomed and flourished. Christ is like that too. Him more so than me, of course. But he grew up in the ghetto, Nazareth. A tender plant before his people, a root out of dry ground. I do think most people have an easier transition coming from the church into the truth. When I look at brothers who have transitioned from the church into the truth versus brothers who have come into the truth but no concept of church, the ones who have been in the church usually are more spiritually correct in their worship. Not saying the brothers that wasn't in the church are anything less. All of us are as filthy rags. So I'm just happy to know the truth. Many things can be a hindrance to your growth in the truth, especially loved ones. You have to pray to Ahiah by Shem Yeshaya for the removal of yourself from the path of snares that Satan has aligned for you on the road to destruction. Sometimes God will not remove you from the path of a snare if it is to make you better. He does not want to hinder you. He wants to heal and elevate us. Be careful getting involved with the wrong people. Their demonic spirits will rub off on you. I somehow started out with a bunch of friends and to this day of me typing, I can only say I have one true friend. His name is Yeshaya, and that is Hebrew for my savior. Homosexuality has been around since before the great flood. I believe it is the spirit of one of the fallen angels. I truly believe homosexuality is a spirit that thrived and flourished in the Caucasian world. I believe it is a spirit hiding behind an image as most demons do. This image is the last Greek god. His name was Dionysus. I did a little research on this demon and came to find out those who worship him consider him to be the quote god of the grape harvest, wine making, and wine of ritual madness in parentheses I put a lot of what is going on in the world today with the secret societies in parentheses fertility theater and religious ecstasy in Greek mythology end quote remember Satan has many names the information goes on to state alcohol quote alcohol especially wine played an important role in Greek culture with Dionysus being an important reason for this lifestyle he has been worshipped early as C. 1500-1100 BC by Mycenaean Greeks. These Greeks were dark-skinned, just like in Europe until the Renaissance, all the way to Ethiopia, end quote, which we know as Africa. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash en dot m dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki forward slash Dionysus is where you can find more info. If you go to https colon forward slash forward slash en dot m dot wikipedia dot org forward slash wiki forward slash ld lgbt underscore themes underscore in underscore mythology you will learn that quote the patron God of intersex and transgender people is Dionysus, a god gestated in the thigh of his father Zeus, parentheses, where they get the name Jesus from. It, after his mother died from being overwhelmed by Zeus's true form, other gods are sometimes considered patrons of homosexual love between males such as the love goddess Aphrodite and gods in her retinue such as the Erotes, Eros, Hemeros, and Pothos. Eros is also part of a triad of gods that play roles 
and homoerotic relationships along with Hercules I'm sorry Heracles and Hermes who bestow qualities of beauty and loyalty strength and eloquence respectively onto male lovers in the poetry of Sappho Aphrodite from Cyphus and later mythology became known as Hermaphroditus the son of Hermes and Aphrodite End quote. This is where the belief of hermaphrodites, aka transgender, originates from. I want to show this so you can. Because <laughs> I know I probably butcher some of these names. God of the Grey Pyrus. Wine making and wine. A ritual madness. Fertility, theater, and religious ecstasy in Greek mythology. Alcohol, especially wine, played an important role in Greek culture with Dionysus. And you can read on from there. You see the links. I should have just left it like how it was because I'm about to show you all a picture. Look at the picture on the next page. In the mirror slash screen, in parentheses, social media platform, we have a Taurus. <laughs> Just kidding. In the mirror, you might see a beautiful man or woman, but in reality, you are dealing with a succubus slash incubus spirit. A succubus slash incubus is a demon or a supernatural entity in folklore in female slash male form that appears in dreams to seduce men slash women usually through sexual activity having sex with random people is dangerous especially today side note man and i'd be thinking about like the sex workers no judgment no judgment but knowing what i know knowing what i know and just thinking about like the it's a reason why there is a reason why this push to do fans only and all of these platforms just pop up out of nowhere you know in the 90s going in, even into the like early 2000s like I would never think like we would have like only fans or all these other platforms you know where all of this stuff you know go down with the whole sex work and like I said there's no judgment for me I don't have a heaven or hell to put you in you know and you know I'm not gonna sit up here and act like I haven't watched some of them you know so there's no judgment for me but I do think about what I know and you know that that goes on so um and I'm, I've never really been a big porn person. Because I don't, I mean, me personally, I don't like to see other people, like, getting smashed down. And especially, like, okay, I don't know if this happens, you know, with the whole man and woman thing. But on this side of things, these dudes be sending you videos of them getting smashed or of them smashing somebody else and it's like why why do you think I would want to see that like that's so dumb but anyway <laughs> having sex with random people is dangerous especially today some people have entities attached to them and when you have sex with that person now you are a new host for that demonic spirit. This is the real reason why I am celibate today. I'm not denying that my stance could change, but from the way it's looking, <laughs> baby, I'm good on these ninjas. I'm just keeping it real. Look, okay, so. You see in the background, see how, you know, it's a jester. You know, but then you see, see the bull, the Taurus. No, I'm just playing. 
but that this is real this is real notice in the mirror the beast appears to be human this is very real and happening a Taurus almost got me see I'm just saying I'm just saying these people be these, these ninjas be out here trying to walk away with all your stuff <laughs> gotta watch gotta watch them the devil always takes things and twists things. I just want to make two points. One, the son of Hermes and Aphrodite was considered to be very beautiful, just like Satan was considered to be the most beautiful thing that was ever made before his fall. His name is Hermaphroditus because both he and Satan both were so beautiful it would seem as if they had the face of a woman. This ties in with the bafflement the half man half goat with female breasts and genitalia. Dionysus and Hermaphroditus are fallen angels. They are demonic spirits. You know how some men do lo look like females? They look more so like their mothers or sisters rather than their fathers and brothers. This does not mean they are gay. Sometimes when a baby boy is born, he will look like a baby girl. A lot of women get happy when someone thinks their baby boy is a girl because they think this means the baby boy will be handsome when the child grows into adulthood. Another false backwards way of thinking, but to each his own. Some trans women will tell people that they are hermaphrodites. Some use that excuse to justify their behavior. It's an excuse to lure people into deception. They tell people, I was born with both parts, so technically I am both. Statements like that are webs of deceit. Hashtag fail. I am not stating that you cannot be born with both parts. It's actually a medical condition, if anything. Two, I mentioned earlier that Satan slithers through country and religion, devouring as he goes. This is why he started out as a snake in Genesis and ended up a dragon in Revelation. If you notice, in all these different mythologies, they always parallel the number of characters used in Christianity. The act of homosexuality has always been in the ancient cultures, um, even going back to Egypt, ancient Egypt, and the Kemet. These angels that fell from grace could have been attracted to men. Who knows? The Bible knows. But we do know is that homosexuality is spiritual. I don't believe it is a good spirit either. Even when the angels came down here, they went after women, but I'm sure some went after men too. I have not found any scientific evidence that supports people being born gay. I believe it was something like a plan these fallen angels came up with to get back at God because of him not letting them back into heaven. When they took wives on earth, they sinned against Ahiabah Shem Yeshaya. According to the Bible, there is no repentance for angels, which is why Satan is the way he is. He knows there is no forgiveness for him, so he's trying to lead as many people in his footsteps as possible. He is, he is jealous and rage with envy. He hates us. He will use any snare, including the lifestyle that often comes with homosexuality, to lead you down the wrong path. The spiritual plan carried over to the United States of America when Caucasians shipped Israelite people to America and put them in slave plantations. Earlier in the book, I told you what they did to the babies. Well, now I will tell you how white slave owners would turn out young black men and women. Have you ever heard of the phase, phrase book breaking? I had heard of this a while back. I figured it to just be a rumor. I've never really got into slavery stories in our history until I came into the truth. I was on Facebook browsing and some info about bug breaking scrolled across my timeline. It states, <clears throat> the process of breaking the buck involves perhaps the most heinous and atrocious acts known to man. A strapping Negro slave who was defiant, surly, and may stir up trouble was beaten with a whip till bloody in front of his entire slave congregation. 
The slave owner, deftly afraid of an uprising, would cut down a tree and, with the help of the overseer, would then pummel the de deviant buck into submission. Once the slaves was worn down, the white master had the other Negro slaves force him over the tree stump where his breeches would be removed and he laid fully exposed and ripe for the taking. What came next caused fear and terror to ripple through every slave plantation across the South. The slave master, drunk on bloodlust, would explain to all strong young black men that if they do not follow strict orders and comply with the whims of the overseer and the slave master, this too would be their fate. He removed his own clothing and proceeded to savagely sodomize the buck in front of his wife, family, friends, and children. He then invited his associates from other plantations to join the nigger festivities they would have picnics, which stood for a pick a nigger, where they would beat and do grotesque things to Negroes. In order for his plan to take effect, he would require the Buck's male child to watch front row center so he too can witness his father's sexual demise and humiliation. Buck breaking was the slave master's very effective tool to keep all young black slaves from ever being defiant and taking revenge. It also frightened the mothers and wives from ever giving consent to an uprising. Buck breaking was so successful that it made that it was made into a sex farm where white men could travel from plantation to plantation feeding their sadistic homosexual needs. It's disgusting. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's also disgusting how Everybody be using my last name savagely. <laughs> Savage. They're savages. Savages. Disney. And that Pocahontas movie made us made that song about my last name. They didn't have the little kids in uh, elementary school following them around, talking about they're savages. Savages. <laughs> this is. You can read it for yourself. I would also like to add this very act is going on right now in all entertainment fields. Promising new artists enters into the music slash sports scene with dreams and wolves and sheep clothing. Jewish music execs are just waiting to pray. In Hollyweird, they have these wild sex parties. The Hollyweird parties are where they put date rape drugs in the weed and liquor. Sometimes they don't have to do this, which means men are willingly having sex with men for record deals. This happens in the NBA, NFL, and the acting slash modeling industry. In this modern day and age, everything is on candid camera while they're having man-on-man -man sex for a deal, whether they were drugged or not, they are being filmed. This is why you see so many sex tape scandals. They do even worse to the women. It's more holes to fill. If they get to a point where the celebrity becomes disobedient, they will be exposed with their careers being ruined. This is why certain celebrities say things. You will see them, I'm sorry, this is why when certain celebrities say things, you will see them later come back to apologize. This is why you see all the beef between rappers throwing drinks at each other in a bar. Everything is coming to the light. They are doing ritual sacrifices right in front of your face at their concert shows and on all award shows. They are the secret societies of men and women who sell their souls to get fame slash fortune and they are telling you this. They are telling you they are being possessed by spirits. These spirits are demonic. When I started finding out 
about all the celebrity men in Hollywood that are gay for pay, it made me upset. I feel like people should not support these artists, especially you men that like sports and rap. What I don't get is the fact that you all see these guys kissing each other in pictures, in person, when they're on stage, and they even get caught up in porn tape scandals with dudes, and you still support these rappers and these sports athletes. All they have to say is, I got money or we got cash and everything is cool. You act, you all act as if nothing happened. You got celebrity dudes, NBA slash NFL, wearing women's clothing in your face. And that is okay to you, but you beat up the neighborhood gay dude when they are both doing the same thing. What is the difference between some of these rappers and neighborhood gay dudes? Nothing. It is all the same shit. He is jealous. When you're at a concert, right there, watch this, real quick. When you're at a concert, those people are up on the stage, correct? You're down. You're enlightening them, correct? And praising and ah, and falling out. When you're at an opera, they're low, you're high. Think about it. I'm going to leave it right there. The neighborhood D.O. dudes are becoming the rappers that we are bopping our heads to. Men love LJ and call him their king, but I have seen how this man carries purses. If it is wrong for your son to carry a purse, don't you think it should be wrong that the man you idolize as king carries a purse? The man even has a tattoo of a lion with eagle's wings on his chest, which is Babylonian, by the way. When your so-called king of basketball name is called before the team starts playing, he throws up all kinds of satanic Illuminati gang signs. He throws up the pyramid and the sixes. Do you think it is wrong for you to support such behavior, or will you continue to turn a blind eye to the homosexual activity done by men in the NBA slash NFL and in the rap industry. One example of what I am writing about. There's a man in the NBA. There are all kinds of videos on YouTube that catch him openly full out grabbing another man's penis and not just brushing up against. I am talking full out groping. When I had seen the video of him, he was not in uniform. He was in a suit. He walked along the bench area, leaned over, and grabbed another, another man's crotch like it was nothing. Like he was not in an NBA arena in front of people. The elite have some of these dudes posing naked. Of course, they are not showing the front. Showing their ass like they are dunking a basketball or throwing a football. This is all planned. And I believe a part of the agenda that these Jewish elite are pushing on people in general. When are you men going to wake up and realize that sports and music are distractions? Some of you will even speed up church service in order to get home to watch a game that I believe is rigged. This agenda is an everything commercial, such as what you watch on TV, what you read in the newspaper, and here on the radio. When you come into being woke, you can take many paths, like being in the committed community five percenters and etc but because i had the foundation from church the holy spirit guided me into the truth i started seeing all the illuminati videos with all the actors rappers and athletes being exposed for being gay for pay and what goes down in hollywood at the parties i always believed if you are gay for pay you are gay period what bothered me was just keeping it real how these men could come in my gay world and thrive. But I'm in my world every day and I'm struggling like crazy. I know that I would never stand a chance with one of these NBA slash NFL dudes that are gay for pay because I can't advance them in their career. So to me, I was looking at the situation like they get everything type of deal. And that pissed me off. Why don't they get clowned for doing the same shit that I do? Is it really because they have money and fame? 
How don't these straight men see that these Hollywood dudes participate in all kinds of homosexual behavior? I was basically a beautiful nobody. <laughs> but they will overlook me to have sex with old, gay, ugly, white, Jewish men to gain opportunity in life. Also, dudes like them are the same dudes that tease guys like me about being gay, but now dudes like them are looking to get chose by old white Jewish men with money. Yes, I will admit I was very jealous. Now I could care less because when you know better, you do better at that. I was jealous. I was jealous of the old gay white Jewish men, not of the prominent black and Latino actors, rappers and athletes. I was mad at the prominent black and Latino actors, rappers and athletes that chose to be gay for pay, sleeping with old white Jewish men. They never had to go through getting beat up and teased for being gay. These are your download types. I am sure they were teased about different stuff, but it is a difference when it comes to being bullied for being gay. I'm just being open and honest about how I feel, so excuse me. <laughs> yeah, you can wipe dirt away, or you you can lose weight, speaking on if someone calls you dirty or fat, but a boy being feminine is harder to hide and change. Some, uh, speaking on prominent black and Latino actors, rappers and athletes I truly do believe had no intentions on being gay but when that money was put on the table and they was told nobody would ever know they took the bait and was turned out I also realized as the most high started pulling me out of the lifestyle that I would probably never find real love that it was the case I would just have to learn to accept that I started thinking back on all my past relationships and concluded that I had never been happy in any of them and I never had true love. From that, I knew I would never find happiness in an unfruitful relationship. Also, I didn't know or love myself like I do today. So no relationship would have worked at that time anyway. If the Most High is not in what you are doing, you will be unhappy. And I'm speaking from experience. I am more happy being single today than any other time in my life, especially after the BS I went through with the Taurus from Bingo. I have always been a loner, but I don't feel alone. I know I have the Most High, Christ, and the Holy Spirit. I am never alone. The Elite even put subliminal messages of sex in kids movies and all major music is taken to a temple where spells are casted into them. That is why when you play certain songs backwards, it has hidden satanic songs or messages. This stuff should be common knowledge by now, which is why I never went in depth on the music industry. There's so many videos about gay rappers and sports athletes. I'm sure people have come across these videos on YouTube. This agenda is infiltrating into schools. In Red Hook, New York, a young girl was forced to participate in sex acts during an anti-bullying presentation at Linden Avenue Middle School. At the presentation, the organizers picked two of the young girls, bringing them up in front of the class. They were then made to simulate a lesbian date, which led to them making the young girls ask each other for a kiss. The parents had no knowledge of this workshop, and the school admits they will have more of these workshops in the future. I came across this article from Regent University, and I do think they have some good points. I don't take offense to stuff like what I'm about to show or read because I don't want to harm any children. I have not made any attempts to help kids discover their homosexuality. I have already said how I think any form of sexuality being pushed on a child is wrong. I remember one time I walked in on my parents having sex. To me, that is wrong for me as a child at that time to see that. Children should not know what sex or sexuality is. I'm not saying they are wrong because it's not like they knew I was about to come into their room without knocking. The neighborhood DOJ.